Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to design the login screen of our application. So we have this auth module and inside this auth module, we will create one more package and we will name it login. Inside login, let's create our new login file. So we have login and we will create a file because inside this file, we will have composable functions. Again, we will use the same strategy. First, we will create a composable and this is a login screen composable. So we have login screen, the same we did for splash and we will create one more composable, composable and this is login. Inside login, we will do the actual design. So for login screen, I will create a column and we have to pass a modifier to this column. So we have modifier dot fill max size. I will set some padding. Uh, let's say 16 DP on all the four sides. And I will make this column vertically scrollable. In case you are opening this application in very small screen. So if there is no room to display everything, the screen should be scrollable. So we have vertical scroll and I will pass remember scroll state. Now inside this column, we will call app text field. But before the text field, we also have our logo at the top. So we can call icon function and for painter, we can pass painter resource that is r dot tribal dot the logo that is mini tails for content description we can pass mini tails now we have to pass modifier and we have the icon now after icon i will write app text field for value i will pass let's say any email for label i will pass email and for label, we have to pass string resource. So we have to create strings in our string.xml file. So we can simply pass r.string.email and press alt enter and create the string resource value. So this is email. And for on value changed, I have passed an empty lambda for now. But we also need to pass hint because I want UI to look good. So we can pass hint and it is let's say your name at the rate domain.com. Now we will pass leading icon. So we have leading icon. For leading icon, I will use icons dot filled dot email. And for the IME method, so we will pass IME action, not method. IME action as IME action dot next because after email the user will input password. So we will copy the same app text field and this time it is some password or let's say one, two, three, four, five or whatever it is. For label, we will create password again the same thing alt enter write password and hit OK. Then for the hint we can write your password or just password for the leading icon we will pass lock and this time the ime action will be done because after password we don't have anything to enter so we will close the keyboard so we have text fields for email and password now after this we will create a text that will say forgot password so in case user has forgot the password, he can reset the password by clicking on that button. So we will create a row for this. Inside this row, we will create a column and inside that column, we have two text values. So we have forgot password and the description that says click here to reset. So we will create the string values. Now after this, we will have a button where we will click to login. So just create a button and for button, we will pass a modifier. So we have modifier dot fate 
because I want to give equal widths to this button and this column. So for column, we have set weight 1F and the same thing we will do for this button. And then we will set some padding. Now inside this button, we will create an icon. Now I have the icon that I will paste to the drawable. You can get the icon from the source code. So I have given this icon for the login button. That means login and go ahead. Now finally, I will create two more text. One that will take the user to sign up screen and one is simply for agreeing to terms and condition. So let's create these two text very quickly. So I will create it after this row. So we have this row from here to here. And after the row, we have these two texts. So one says you agree to our terms and conditions. And one says click here if you don't have an account. So by clicking here, the user can register for a new account. Now let's see the preview. And it says no preview found because we have not created the preview function. Okay, so let's do it very quickly. We have mini tails preview and then the preview. Now you can see we have a nice UI design here for the login screen. And this is the light version and this is the dark version. It is working absolutely fine. Now let's create a navigation destination for this login screen. So we will go to auth nav graph and here we will call the composable function. We will pass the root. So we have auth screen dot login dot root and then we will call here login screen. Now one thing that I forget is I have to call this login inside this login screen. So we have login like this. Oops, it is a recursive call. We have to call this login, not itself. So let's call login. Now the UI design for login screen is ready. Now let's test by running the application. So we have this nav graph here and we have the splash screen here. When we are opening our activity, we are coming to splash screen. And then from splash screen, we have to go to login screen. So how to open login screen? So for now, what I will do is after calling splash screen, I will call nav controller dot navigate and I will pass login dot root. And this will open login screen just for now because later we will check whether the user is already logged in or not inside the screen and based on that we will open either login or home screen but for now we are just designing the ui so let's see whether our login screen is working fine or not so here you can see we have a nice login screen and right now we cannot enter anything you can see if I enter anything, it is not reflecting and we have the values that we given while creating the text field. And if we click button, nothing happens, but at least we should be able to enter values, but I will fix it in the next video. So I hope you are excited for the next one. And if you have any confusion so far, please leave the comments. So thanks for watching everyone. This is Bilal Khan now signing off. Thank you.